Now we're gonna take a look at a little skating drill for steering and also using the stick for putting the stick in the passing lane. It looks like this. Now we're going to explain the steering drill with the stick in the passing lane. First we're trying to steer the opponent. So we don't want to come straight at the opponent or the opponent can beat us either way. We want to come in on an angle. We're skating in on an angle and we've got our stick out here to this right side. So the stick's in the passing lane so he can't cut to his left. I'm using this heel push skating technique and I'm bringing my, stay there, I'm bringing my stick on this side of the opponent. So I'm forcing him, I'm steering him up ice. If I don't come in with my stick there and I come in with my stick here to this side, he can cut back, right? So I'm coming in with my stick out here. I'm using the heel push to force him up the ice. And then I switch my stick to the middle in the passing lane. At the same time I switch my stick to the middle, I spread my feet out. I don't stand sideways to the opponent like this. I spread my feet out and I create a wall here so I can try to stop him from passing through. If he passes through my skates, I can bring my feet together and stop the puck. If he passes between my skate and my stick, I can stop that pass. Stick in the passing lane. Our next exercise is a one foot snow plow. Here I'm using the red line so you can see this. The player is skating straight in. They're gonna stop with a one foot snow plow, keeping the other leg straight and push and come straight back. We're alternating feet, so it's in one foot, stop, push, come straight back. Would look like this, go. Our next exercise here is the spoke drill, working on this one foot snow plow. And it would look like this. Now I'm going to explain why this one foot snow plow is such an important technique for the defenseman. We have this reoccurring game situation where the defenseman's in front of the net and the opponent's in the corner. The problem with this situation is the gap. There's too much space between me and the opponent. So what we see is players rush out here to close the gap and they stop and then they cross over. That leaves opening to the, to the net on the inside. If the player stops the opposite direction and he skates out here and he stops with a two foot stop and crosses over, that leaves open space to the middle. So if a player is trained and can come out with a one foot snow plow, they can close the gap, stop with one foot, and now they're ready to react to play the opponent to either side. So we'll play it again, and it looks like this. One more time. <laughs> 